In this video we share the warning according to Mystic Luz de Maria. The following is the personal experience of what the universal warning will be like according to Luz de Maria. In a very special way, our Lord has given me to understand that a comet will come near the earth, all of humanity will see it, which will create panic and compel many people to go to confession, but not for repentance. In the sky there will appear a sign, a cross for several days, people with faith will feel the need to confess their sins, to repent, the remainder of the people will say that it was brought about by men and will turn against the Catholic Church, saying that it is a trick to frightened humanity. In the midst of this confusion and an earthquake the warning will come, which our Lord has permitted me to experience part of it during Lent of the year 2008. I felt in my being anguish, as though something was coming closer to me, but I could not tell what it was, like something frightful, something distressful that I couldn't figure out, though I knew something was going to happen. It was something that made my heart beat rapidly. I was in this state for around 20 minutes, then the anxiousness began to increase, I started to feel as though my soul was leaving me, because little by little I felt a terrible loneliness that was not only filling my spiritual being, but my physical body as well. Then I felt a dreadful loneliness. The anxiety had me walking to and fro because each time the loneliness grew greater. I was totally aware that God was not in my being, my soul was desolated, anguished. I walked seeking consolation and could not find it, the loneliness, the emptiness was greater each time, until the point of feeling I was going out of my mind, my soul was left without God. And as in a movie, all the sins started to weave within me, perhaps the gravest that men could commit, I felt or I should say, was experiencing everything because I felt them as my own, I was living them. I felt what goes through the mind, through the heart, in the interior of the people who take their life. I experienced the suffering moments before those who take their life, I experienced what a baby feels when it is being aborted, I experienced the abuses of the human beings that are outraged, I experienced the drug addiction, prostitution. All sorts of sins started to pass one by one within my soul. It was a terrible wretchedness, I felt in my mind that I could not leave the house, because God had abandoned me, I was living the total absence of God. It is a terrifying emptiness, which nothing can fill, here on earth men sin and repent, but the burden of the offense that sin causes is not felt because we have the presence of God. I ambled desperately feeling God's abandonment, it was really terrible and then I remembered that my husband did have God, so I looked for him and found him in his bedroom and I said to him. Please lay your hands on my head, I need you to pass God to me, because he has abandoned me. My husband, afraid, did not know what to do and asked me, what's happening to you? And I responded desperately, I don't have God, he is gone, please, pass him to me. My moans were actually coming from deep within my being and he asked me, what prayer should I say? And I responded, doesn't matter what, just pass God to me. This was truly a devastating and bitter experience. He prayed, but I still felt the emptiness. I think I was tempted by the demon to leave my house, get into the car and look for one of the priests, but somehow I knew that if I left the house, it could be fatal. And then I threw myself on the floor with my arms extended in the form of the cross and begged God to return to me. At that moment, my soul spoke to me. I knew it was my soul, and my soul said some words, that I kept repeating as she said them to me and I felt that the Holy Spirit was filling me. I started to feel invaded with a sense of peace that I have never before had experienced, a peace that satisfied, that fused me. My chest was bursting, then I felt something physical stayed within me, a presence that I still feel to this day and which surrounds my whole chest. That's how the warning is going to be. That is why the people who have sins will be out of their minds, and the demon will be waiting, will induce them to take their life, to take them as its own spoils before the hour of mercy comes. The warning will be for those who are not with God be a terrible moment, unbearable in which they would end up placing themselves in the hands of the demon, who with its demoniac legions, will encircle the souls and accuse them of their sins in which they live and tell them that God will not forgive them. For those who are lukewarm, it will be the moment of repentance, of grace, because when they understand their error, they will ask forgiveness and will convert, 
and for those who are in grace, they will be filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. We know that after the warning, those who do not believe will give it a scientific explanation, so that humanity will continue in error, sin will increase and there will be persecution. From that day on my life has not been the same. God, during the warning, will make us aware of sin. I will never forget that day, I cried in those moments in which I did not feel God, I couldn't even think because the absence of God surpasses everything, I only felt emptiness and felt in my flesh the sins that came one by one, increasing the anxiousness and the loneliness. At the time of writing this message and whenever I talk about it, I cry, I cry because even just the memory of it hurts so much, and I always ask our Jesus not to let me feel it again, because I think I would not be able to endure it one more time. This is my personal experience of the warning, the recording of this experience, of the suffering with Jesus. He has told me that this is what the souls will feel during the warning and it is only a drop of what he lived in Gethsemane for our sins. Luz de Maria received the following message from our blessed mother announcing the nearness of the warning. The experience of the warning that I had through the message of Mother Mary a short while ago, was similar to the previous one, only that the former had such an intensity that each sin, which passed before me had its respective degree of offense to God, the pain that God feels and the burden towards all of humanity. It was a total abandonment of God, not only at a personal level, but at that same time I also felt the pain of the cosmos in general, to see God removed from its creation by the human will. At that moment Jesus let me feel what we will experience during the warning, the abandonment of God. Not because God wants it, but because in that moment God, respecting the freedom of men to use their free will, will let them see the consequences of the abuse of such freedom, sin. Both experiences are similar, however the one from Lent I know it came from the blessed trinity and the intensity was much greater, although in essence it was the same, and the one of the previous message came from the pain of our mother, that according to my understanding, are only one, because the Blessed Mother is the Trinitarian precinct. That is why to distance yourself from God, is to distance yourself from the Mother. Both experiences have been very strong, but more so the first one, although I wouldn't want to experience either one of them again. Perhaps due to these merciful experiences, is that I try and struggle not to fall into sin and I go to confession as often as possible and it hurts me to offend our Jesus, because I don't want him to find me offending him. From what Jesus has told me regarding the warning, that it is felt totally within our being. There will also be a part that will be at the cosmic level because the whole cosmos wants to purify itself, because it has been contaminated by the sin of man, the creation that is in total concordance with the blessed trinity wants to free itself of the contamination that man has inflicted upon it. I know very well that our Lord gives us always three opportunities, the third time that I will go through it will be the warning and I implore the heavens above that I will be prepared for this grace. After the two experiences regarding the warning, although as I mentioned before the first one surpasses the one that I shared with the message of Mother Mary, the vision and the experience always feel as it were the first time and perhaps because the one of 2008 was felt at the cosmic level, the one of today was more of the human level. Whenever I see Jesus and he talks to me, it is as if it were the first time and I live it with great intensity. The same is with Mother Mary, each revelation is as if it were the first time, it is a total divine love. No one can really get accustomed to see, to like, to live in the Trinitarian love or the maternal love, at least not me. Each occasion is truly like the first time. This is what my Jesus has permitted me to experience in regards to this grace for humanity, then there will be a visible part for all to see with the sign of heaven first, after I have seen the blessed light over humanity, the light that will come to take away the darkness that covers the earth and the cosmos with so much sin, it will touch man's conscience and God will distance himself from us for a few moments. This divine force will collide visibly with the earth and the earth will tremble. The divine intervention of the warning will give an enormous opportunity to the whole of mankind to stop in the course of their lives and maintain their eyes on the Creator. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.